Hello, this is Teo, and you're looking at the new Phalanges Release 7. Phalanges is the Latin term for finger bones. It's October 8, 2013, here in San Francisco. What you're seeing is the movements of my hands recreated in a 3D space. I'm using the Leap Motion device to capture the actual movements of my hand and fingers as I speak. The graphics you see in the video are being generated on screen using the 3JS JavaScript library. The issue in all of this is that the Leap device cannot see all your fingers all the time. So whenever one of the colored blocks disappears, it means that the Leap device cannot see that finger. Now the objective of the code is to keep all the fingers, the gray box-like objects, visible at all times. The second objective is to have fingers not go off in crazy directions. As you can see, there's a fairly good connection, but it's not perfect. I can make my hand pitch, roll, and yaw. I can wiggle my fingers, and mostly the fingers are visible and not too cro crooked. And it's a lot better than release one. Anyway, all of this is very much a work in progress. What you're looking at is example or cookbook code. It's a program intended to be used as the basis for further development. So it's not a thing of beauty. For example, you can see all the dummy objects used to make the fingers point in the right direction. They're just there for testing and won't be a, a, um, visible in later programs. Speaking of later programs, the next generation of code based on this work will be out very soon. The two major features going into this code. First, you'll be able to use these algorithms to save the files in industry standard BVH file format. Secondly, you'll be able to use the code to display human-like hands or animal claws or robot appendages or whatever. So there's a lot more to be coming out of this code. But for the moment, this is Teo saying bye for now.